All right, everybody, I'm going to teach you how to use the customized gameplay. All right, so you open settings and then you go to gameplay. You can also press 2 to get to this screen. Um, on this screen, you've got a list of all of the elements that are in the gameplay screen, which you can turn on and off. And there's a couple of specific settings that you can change. Uh, I'm not going to go into everything in detail because it's explained to you in English right here. I wrote all of that. All right, very cool. Um, you can then move the elements that are in gameplay, all of them, by clicking this button, or by clicking this button, or by clicking this button. I'm gonna click this button. Now we're in gameplay. Um, you're allowed to use your mouse to click drag anything uh, you can also use your arrow keys to select a particular element by its name. I named these elements. These are my names. I'm very good at this. So we can select something by clicking uh, or pressing enter, or you can just left click it. Uh, so we'll left click the uh, target tracker here on the left. And now since it's selected, we can see on the right here that the uh, coordinates are surrounded. That means we have that selected. Or we can press space to uh, now begin changing the size. Um, now I can use the arrow keys here to move this around. Or I can hold left shift to get smaller increments. Bet you didn't know that one. Wow. We can hold tab to speed things up too. Um, now we want to use uh, delete to go back. Also enter does the same thing. Uh, if you ever want to reset something to its default position, you can select it and then hold control and then press uh, uh, restart gameplay, which is my delete key. And there we go. Now that puts it there. I'm really surprised I didn't write that down in the game, but I did write it down in the help screen. So I'm going to show you where that is. When you exit the screen, everything saves. Information about the customized gameplay hotkeys is right here. Thanks for watching.